Asuka, you run headlong first. Uh, Peter and Charles, a, a decent 10 to 15, maybe 20 feet behind you, uh, considering your urgent first uh, steps to run. And the closer you come to your destination, the more uh, burning and the more smoke is apparent in the sky. Um, there is a faint smell as well of burnt flesh and... Um, um, and, and and just more and more dread comes within you. The smoke comes into your eyes as you start to tear up, as you still dash uh, through uh, it. Um, and in front of you, you are then met with a visage that you desperately did not want it to be real. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bit on a fire, yo! Is this is this? Uh... Is this? AI I didn't do this, by the way. No, I just found it on Google. Ah, okay. I was lucky. Um, what'd you say, Asuka? I didn't do this, by the way. <laughs> the I first... didn't start this fire. Just uh -huh. so you guys know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I um, mean, I guess we should look for survivors or the cause of all this. All right. Also, I tell the rest of the group that I've been here before. And this is a village. Uh, it's called Pollock. I'll write it down. And basically, the uh, only people that live here are um, elderly people, since they have accepted their fate of the uh, the wishing woods. Uh, that they'll probably not get out of these woods, and uh, like that they're, you know, entombing in, 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 in their village. And they've decided to the to no no longer. Subject more people to this, and uh, how should you call it? <laughs> They're not making kids, basically. Mm. Uh, what race are they? Uh, I guess human. they're regular humans, yeah. Mostly humans, with the occasional halfling or dwarf, but mostly humans. Mm. Yeah, and I guess we should look for some survivors. All right, uh, Asuka, as you dash around, uh, most of the time you see ruined houses completely burned down you see sometimes a few axes ebbed within walls uh you see some uh, flint and stones bottles that were cracked uh, obviously meant to purposefully uh light everything afire um and you um uh where would you like to dash straight through because the, the the village is littered with the bodies of old people you see most of the time uh, couples either hugging each other uh, completely eviscerated it's or like, burned up it's um, like the the after visage of uh, pompey <laughs> oh god um, whatever you want to uh, trust me uh trust you okay i mean um, i'm obviously like as 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 much of a gremlin I am, I'm obviously not one to enjoy other people's suffering. I'm mm -hmm. not evil. So yeah, I'm obviously a little devastated but what by what I'm seeing. Um, and is there anybody at all? Like, I cry out if there's anybody here. Um, initially, you're crying out does not warrant any responses. Um, you you do gain an epiphany um of a certain old lady that gave you shelter all right that's yeah let's go to i i, I unknownly to my allies i just suddenly take a, a turn into a certain direction and i go towards the house where i stayed Mm -hmm. uh, before... uh, the house itself was more towards the center, um, yeah. leaving a, a road that, again, um, outwards towards the the outside uh, of the village. Um, and there you do are me are also met with the uh, the house of uh, the lady that uh, that sheltered you called Allison, and mm -hmm. she um, you see her in front of the house face down flat on the floor on the on the ground with a sword uh in her Ooh. back by the way isaac 
it's cool that you added this music, but I thought it was gonna be in a different way. <laughs> my <laughs> mind's putting something else. <laughs> oh, okay, sure, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. It just fitted <laughs> with the concept that it was, you know, a, a town on fire. It's, it's the thing is, the song is like it starts grim and gruesome, but it slowly builds up to a ni like nice and heroic way. Well, and it you're heroically fit doing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fucking All shit's right. on fire. Uh, then you um, have to give me a moment. No, um, no, no, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Anyway, I check over to the uh, the lady as I uh, crouch in, in, in front of her. And I check her pockets for any, like, money or something. No, 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 I don't. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I look at... Uh, all right. Um, so, uh, as you approach the the old lady with her, who's currently on the floor, um, with a sword ebbed into her back, a it's a decently big sized pool of blood uh, below her as well. Um, mm -hmm. What do you do as you approach her body? I mean, she has a sword in her, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty clear she's gone. <laughs> Um, I I stand up. My eyes are a little more serious than usual. My like my gaze is more serious than usual, and I want to look for any oh, wait, no, clues I of you. Uh, hmm? uh, you were running, and you succeeded your history check. No, never mind. As you approach her, you hear her cough. Wait, with a sword in her? Just because you have a sword and you just mean you instantly oh, okay. die. Okay, 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 okay. Because like there was a big pool of blood and stuff. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, that's for sure. Uh <laughs> okay. Then never mind. I don't stand up. <laughs> um, is she face up. Like, uh, or... currently with the uh, sort of like her right eye and parts of her mouth on the floor, and her left eye uh, still, you know, a bit upwards, but still closed. But she's softly coughing. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I crouch near her and I ask her who did this, what happened. As she finally, he as she hears your your voice, uh, you see her. You see her opening her one eye, um, and she's trying to focus her, her vision with whatever energy she still has. It's like, oh, Leo, is that you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not. Oh. Uh, she she blinks a few more times and tries to piece. Wait, uh, is hmm? Charlie near me? Uh, I suppose at this point, as you were asking questions, they did were running behind up? you. They they did catch up, although us, although Sabine and Skux are too far, uh, still a few little bit behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's fine. I only care about Charlie now. <laughs> um, wow. I look over at Charlie uh, or at Charles, and I I motion. You know, to the the lady on the floor, and like, basically, I'm asking if he can help her ease the pain or something. Uh, Try and heal her, I guess. You could, uh, you know, just so she can, so she's not all delirious. <laughs> all right, uh, roll me a medicine check. Oh boy, Charlie's oh, gonna kill her. Check. I don't want roll net one twice in a row, right? Mm. Right. All right. Um, you do your best. You actually do uh, pull out the sword, and at the same time, wait. We uh, pull out the sword. You should never good? do that. Uh, <laughs> no, you should you never, should do, never that. do that if you don't have a uh, physician who next to you who can. Yeah. Or if you can cauterize the, the wound or something. Oh, yeah. can we use some of the pyro? Let let me narrate. Um, you see that Charlie, uh, you you pull out the sword uh, fluidly and at the same time put both your hands on front and back side, um, pushing a small bit of healing magic together with whatever herbs you still had uh, in it to 
sort of uh, close up both sides of it. You change her face towards the side and urge her to uh, cough up whatever blood she still has stuck in her in her throat. Um, but you can already see that she does not have long yet. But you are easing her of the pain. So I oh, cannot yeah. heal her uh, well. No, I guess condition. like mortal like mortal wounds are probably or or fatal wounds are probably you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um. All right. So okay. currently, she she is looks. She, oh, is she is she more conscious now, or she coughs a little bit after the uh, the blood that is uh, expunged from her lungs. Um, she opens both her eyes this time and focuses on you, and then she's like, "Asuka, is I, that I'll, you?" I'll give her uh, some water. Do I have? I mean, I guess I have like a water pouch I or something. I think you have a water skin. Yeah, water you. skin. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll hand it over. Give to her, her some water. But as she tries to swallow it, she like <laughs> she kind of like spits it out. Nice. Um, yeah, she she just cannot swallow anymore. Okay. Yes. Uh, um. Uh. Don't waste too many words. Just tell us who did this. Tell us what happened. Zuka. Uh oh. They were looking for you. For me? Oh shit! I know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I put two and two together. Like, okay, so <laughs> as she as she says that, uh, again, I'm not like super cruel or anything, or like, uh, yeah, sure, Edge. Uh, <coughs> I I I, but I realize basically that this is my fault, and as you. Okay. Yeah. Can you? Uh, are you trying to um, to mask that expression of guilt, or do you not? No, I won't. No, oh, okay. Um, you're talking to someone, you know, a lady um, of old stature, obviously. She she weakly puts her hand onto yours as you guiltily watch. Please don't feel bad about this. <laughs> we were all doomed to die sooner or later. Whether it is by something you brought or not, it is not something <laughs> for is you this... to worry about. Did this recently happen? Um, considering the fire that's still I mean, going on, yeah, it was not too long ago. But some buildings have been burned out completely. Some of the corpses were too crisp. Um, with her being stabbed, it, uh, according to Charlie's medicine check, it would have been maybe not more than an hour before before she was stabbed. Maybe some more. Um, we should... Uh, sorry, we should, was sh we should go after them. Or yeah. I should go after she, them. She... Um, they were looking for you. Some mercenaries. <laughs> and they will find me. Or I will find them. <clears throat> she um, she nods at your um, if that is what you want to do but I caution you Asuka you are strong and many <laughs> be wary and then she used to start that see that her eyes are slowly going downwards oh Leo what are you doing out there? Come back oh, inside. And then she just she passes away. Do I do I need to mute myself even more now? Do I have a cloth or something to what? put over? I thought you, uh, you said, oh, sorry, I suppose. Guy. Do you have any? Hmm? I suppose you, you can just find sorry, something yeah. in the rubble yeah. that would survive. Um, yeah, you can. You cover up her. You cover up You're Allison's really body. Um, at that we'll point, that some of the fire cook. starts to <laughs> die out. And classically, it starts to rain. Ooh. Are there tracks or anything? Like uh, there are even... some tracks that you can see along the were path. Were they on horseback? Point, as you... Sorry, what? Or were they on horseback or just like? Uh, no what? horse prints. Only feet. Uh, footprints. Um, you. Do just I know how you... many from just seeing the footprints? Like, do I know is it a mm... big group, twenty or like five or? For that, you'll have to roll me a survival check. Survival, okay. 
Um, so you didn't succeed the check, but um, it is enough for you to see that uh, it would be more than seven. Now, that could be 14, it could be 20, but it is definitely could not less 50. than seven. Could be. Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, where is it? Um, at the, while, you, while you are um, looking for prints and as you uh, cover up, um, as you after you covered up Allison's body, um, Flora with uh, Sabine and Skux also arrive at that point, seeing you trying to track uh, uh, the the prints on the on the on the ground, uh, which are currently starting to wash away through the rain. Yeah, so we should hurry and see where they're leading. Can I check where they're leading? Which direction? Uh, that you can easily see the direction where they're going. They're going outside, towards outside of the village. Can I follow them? If you want to follow them, that's yeah. perfectly fine. What yeah, does I will. the rest do? Uh, I will look if there's anyone else that might have survived and like tell you right now that there is no survivor. <laughs> no, they okay. completely cleaned out this uh, this little town. How many people were living in it then? Before no, Asuka fire. knows, but Asuka is already away. Those... Cowards. <laughs> they killed yeah. these helpless people and they didn't even steal anything. <laughs> um, That's what bothers you. Yeah. So, um, what is wrong? This was just pure nonsensical violence. Not even not even any objective. Mm. Alright. So um <laughs> Where is it here? It should be here somewhere. Isaac didn't think I would follow them. <laughs> no, no. I'm trying to find the item that I'm looking for. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, as you approach the the edge of the for uh, the edge of the t of the the ruined village of Polag, um. You see a uh, a spear ebbed into the into the ground. Um, on that spear, you see um, a random potential villager um, uh, uh, stuck towards that spear. Oof. Obvious that uh, he was completely lacerated. Uh, multiple sp uh, multiple arrows in his body, uh, slit up throat, um, and in front and around its neck. Uh, Sort of like a, a, a plaque with uh, a, a piece of paper uh, ebbed to it, a parchment, a, a parchment uh, attached to it. Ooh, let's see what it says. Mm. It's written in common and it uh, states uh, By decree of the family of Orr, any or all who are affiliated with the, uh, uh, with the thief called Asuka, is to be killed on site. Go ahead and abandon any those, me. Any, any of those who see this message and know of their whereabouts are to immediately give this information to the mercenary group of Shadows. I'll just say this right now. If it was any of you, I'd give you up. Oh, God. <laughs> How much? Is, is there a price on his head? Yeah, there's probably like a great ass the, the price. <gasps> the oh, price guys, that... we should we should do a heist. You guys give me in, and then I escape or some shit, and you guys get away with the reward. Yeah. Money. The the the, 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 um, the um the parchment implies that uh, you won't be killed. I won't be killed. No, no. The the part he says there was there was the reward. The reward is you won't be killed. Wow, well, that's considering crazy. You'd be oh, okay. Otherwise. Well, wow. These Such guys are lay mercenary these, these guys man. are. Um, so not Asuka, you um, you saw that they were talking about the shadow group. Um, how about yeah. you roll me a history check for that? Oof. <laughs> oh, um, also, at the end of that note, you do see indeed uh, a, a second parchment behind with your face on it. Um, 
uh, drawn on it. And uh, on the right bottom side, you see a, the signet of a golden stag, um, which you kind of remember seeing somewhere else. Um, you know of the words of the shadow group, but it you sort of fail to exactly remember um, specific details from them, but you know that they are a, a vicious group. They stop at nothing, no, no matter what. Um, once, once a contract has been made and, and paid, they will stop at nothing. This can sometimes even go through generations. Uh, even yeah. after the original contractor has uh, has died, it is not unheard of for their uh, their descendants to be completely eradicated, and the contract is then uh, fulfilled. So you now know that uh, the Orr family has uh, has you on its heels and have paid this vicious group called the Shadow um, the Shadow uh, Group, and they uh, they are out there to find you and kill you. Huh. Let them try. Hmm. Um, so, as you, you know, what do you do with this information, these scrolls and uh, these two scrolls, one with your face and one with the information, you know, telling that they, uh, any information needs to be given or else. Um, other than that, uh, the others, I suppose, follow you to the edge? I the say place? let the hunted become the hunter. No, well, that's a potential thing. Um, it's still <laughs> raining, by the way, so you're you're definitely soaked wet. Oh. Okay. At this they point, the fires, <laughs> the fires uh, douse out, and uh, well, behind you, you see what was a, a cozy little village with people just trying to live out their final days in peace. Um, mm. Have unfortunately met their end in a mm. violent way. Ah. Uh. I yeah I uh I actually the, I, did only I see the parchment Well currently you ran ahead from the rest yeah. um considering that uh, Charles wanted to look around I don't know what Peter was doing uh, I, I put a piece of parchment in my pocket and <laughs> mm. I won't show the others <laughs> Okay, you put both of these parchments into your um, to your pocket. Yeah, and I'm a little um, nervous, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, but you have to understand that uh, both Peter and Charles did hear that uh, Allison told you that they were looking for you. So, mm -hmm. um, in any case, the rest approaches you at the edge of the forest, seeing the uh, the the body of one person, um, you know, attached to a spear. Bloodied and mangled. Um, Imp impaled. In well, the, the spear is on the ground just to keep oh, the body okay. up. It's not Count Dracula. No, impaled. no, no. The, the body isn't impaled Lame. by the spear. No, no. Okay. Um. What do the What does the rest do as they approach? Uh, mm. As they approach the halfling, who's currently looking very angrily on the outside of the forest, and a little nervous. And a little nervous. Mind you. <laughs> do, we, do we see the paper? Uh, I put it in my pocket Considering how Asuka wants it to be done, no. Then I'll just ask friend of yours. <laughs> uh, uh, friend of yours who? I'm sorry, I didn't follow. The impaled uh, guy? The... Ah, okay. You don't know that guy. I mean, you've seen him before, Asuka. You've seen everybody in this village, but you don't know him specifically by name. You've seen him sometimes at the marketplace as you tried to swindle your way through. Mm. That seems like me. It's Bob. Um... His name is Bob, and it's was he your brother. Fine, the name is Bob. Whatever. It, it is what it is, guys. Maybe we should just move on. Uh, Charles come from the village and like says, no survivors. It seems whoever, well, murdered this village was very proficient at that job. Uh, and then I like go over to Suk and I say, uh, so, what did I hear? You you made some friends. Yeah, <laughs> these people basically 
um, sheltered me before I met up with you guys, and they initially told me where I was in in these wishing woods, and they told me about you know the curse of these uh, woods. Um, I only stayed for a short while before moving on again, since these people were resolute on not going anywhere, they pretty much accepted their fate uh, and were, you know, passing time together and, and trying to make the best of it, I guess. They didn't deserve this fate, though. I wasn't really talking about them. I was talking about the guys that killed this guy. Oh, them. Well, if we ever run into them, depending on the situation, we should... Uh, how do you say that in English? Korte them. Maken. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, oh, we should uh, snuff we them should... out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're bad news. Nothing yeah, good no. comes from them. But do you know any reason why they might, well... Go to this length for They're looking for me. Thing. Yeah. Huh. Did, did well, you, did you steal anything? Let's, let's who, just say me? That, yeah. Hell I mean. no, I would never. <laughs> what are you thinking, Charles? I thought you knew me. Yeah, def she definitely <laughs> stole something. Yeah, yeah, she definitely stole something. Okay, we, we know enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. yeah. Uh, it is anyway. what it is. Let's just yeah. move on. <laughs> we can't do anything about their current situation <laughs> anyway, so let's just like mm. well leave this place behind. Alright, okay. Um so you leave behind this ruined village of Polag. Um you also manage to see that slowly the trees that you leave behind you are sort sort of like starting to go inwards more and more, almost as if they're going to start swallowing whatever is left uh, within that uh, within that doomed uh, and ruined uh, little village that was so kind to you before. Um, all mm. right. Um, the rain had stopped at that point, so uh, you were starting to dry yourselves off. Um, you continue on forward uh, through a once more a straight path. And slowly but surely, the, the path itself starts to get wider and wider and wider. Um, the, the, the trees themselves, though, are still arched above you, you know, together. So you cannot really see the, uh, the outside too much. Sometimes, like, a little bit of ray of light that shines through, indicating that it might still be uh, day. Um, and then you see uh, an an entryway, like an, an ending entryway. Um, but it's it's a really weird way. It's almost like a complete white. Um, you, you can't see through it. It's almost like a mistyish. Um, uh, not mistyish, but it's almost like a, a, a ray of light is um, stopping you from seeing inwards. What do you do as you approach this strange seeming exit way slash portal? Uh, uh, yeah. I want to go touch it. Right, you touch it, and it's almost like it moves like water, but your hand doesn't feel wet. You push your finger in, just move with the motion, and it's almost like it leaves ripples uh, through it. But nothing bad happens to you. Hmm. Curious. You do. It does feel a little bit warm. Huh. Do we feel any energy about that that is familiar to us? No. No. It's as if anything beyond it is unfeelable, and that in and of itself is also masked. So it's just a portal. Could be a portal. Can I shoot an arrow through it? Sure, shoot an arrow through it. I yeah. take one of my arrows and 
I shoot an arrow through it, but I angle it in a way that the arrow would drop approximately into the floor a meter behind it. So not like straight oh. through, but I want it to end behind the portal. All right, you do so. You, As the arrow goes through, it makes like a big ripple, vroom, 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 like when you throw a rock into into the, into the a lake. Um, you you do hear the arrow t- hit the f- hit the ground uh, mm. at the other side, but nothing happens of consequence. Mm. I'll step through. You step through. Okay. Ah, yep. uh, sure. Uh, so. All right. So you both then. So Scox and Peter, you step through the portal. You feel that little warm mm-hmm. feeling. Um, wash over you uh, just the same feeling that uh, Asuka had when he touched the portal. She touched the portal. Um, And you are met with a ginormous valley in front of you. It is... It it goes far and wide. Uh, currently, you are almost like on the top of a mountain. You see a meadow of of green grass uh, that is uh, reflected uh, from the light that uh, comes upwards. Um, but immediately, as you focus on that light, something strange is happening in the sky. The sky itself is almost split in half. One half shows a blue sky with a big yellow sun in it. On the other side, the sky is completely dark. Night with stars on it and only a single moon uh, seen on the other side. Um, With something that you've never, ever seen before. It is a serene place. Something that you didn't um, expect at all. Um... And uh, let's see, where is it? Heather and my sister tribe always collide. <laughs> um, Can we go to the darkness? <laughs> well, for now it's only Skux and hmm. Peter that are in it. You do hear, for the first time, a f- free sound of birds and other animals from the distance you can see some just stray goats or mountain goats even you can see some hawks and birds from the sky go left and right um it's it's very peaceful this environment i never knew i missed the sky so much <laughs> um but as you look behind you um you do see that same uh sort of um um uh, energy that w- that looked like a, like a portal but it wasn't a portal what you see behind you is a is part of a giant barrier dome that uh, is currently keeping all of these trees from going forward um it's also a one way mirror one way uh mirror um window even you can see the others on the other side but they cannot see you can I push my hand through it? Yeah. You push this would have been it. an epic moment where I take the bow and aim it again, and he's like, don't shoot! <laughs> do, do the others uh, see a green Oh, hand you now? also see the arrow that uh, Sabine shot just uh. somewhere in the floor there. Oh, well, I'll pick up the arrow, and with the arrow, I'll push my hand through and wiggle the arrow. Well, you, you see a lone hand with an arrow wiggling uh, on the other side that for the other is, three people. I recognize the hand as Skaxus because we're friends, and I'll take um, Flora and we step through it. All right, you are met with the same visage. You you see Flora's expression change as well in that one of awe. Uh, a sky where both moon and sun are just in tandem and symmetrical in the sky with a single line dividing both uh, the night sky and uh, the bright uh, and the bright sky um, but she wouldn't know how a sky looks well there was a sun uh, but you just couldn't see it that much uh, in the uh, mm. the village uh, I, oh, I, no, I will and, um, immediately spread my wings and just flop around a bit like oh my god finally finally sky well you you can indeed fly up um oh and uh how about you roll me what's your passive perception 16. oh decent um 
from the distance you can see faint fires being surrounded by um you would say um houses huts I but it's decently far away but yep. you can you can see it um one is more within the side of the sun and the other one is more in the side of the moon when you say fire is near houses do you mean like there's a campfire or a do campfires. you mean okay they're not on fire no no okay, no okay. definitely not i convey that i see houses on both sides and i see fire Are you still there. carrying flora by the way not at this point but okay. she'd probably be very excited to fly with me later <laughs> all right um what does the rest do? Charles and Dasuka? I'll fall through the portal. Um, right. All Seeing as the whole party just goes through a random portal, I'll follow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For you all as well, you see a beautiful, beautiful sky split in two. Um, and again, you were informed by um, by Sabine that there are indeed uh people much further down the valley beyond the the mountain range well i propose that we go and meet the people just well, standing here it won't really accomplish anything all right i would then like to ask you do we go left or do we go right I excitingly look at the darkness. You go right? No, 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 I just look at it. I'm like, we should stick together, but I like darkness. I mean... <laughs> okay, put it in perspective. Uh, with Korkusha, was there light or uh, not? Like, was there sun? Could we see the sun there? Well... I would say it was a clear sky. So there was a moon, there was a sun. It was night, you rested, it became day. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, so the trees didn't cover the sun. No, no, not at the Druid Grove, no. Okay, in that case, uh, I will, well, go with Sabine, I guess. Like, Fuck I also. Yeah, darkness. Like, you just have to. Dark. This is now a literal player decision. Do we go left? Do we go right? I go right. Oh, in that case, let's go right. Oh, let's go, darkness, my friend. I do prefer and nights after all. Watch us walk into the uh, guys that want us to go. They will not walk into me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> uh, let me they right. won't walk into us. Armor. It's unanimous. You all want to go towards the right? May as well. Suka? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. You all still follow straight through. Um following in between the side of shadow and the side of light um forward until you you know decently make your way towards the, the supposed um supposed villages uh, you see uh, that they are almost like right next to each other um and uh and right in the middle of that, you can see the single shadow, the single line, uh, distinctly uh, splitting in the same side, the same way that the sky is split right there. Um, on the far sides, beyond those two villages, you see a very large mountain, and within that mountain, ebbed within it, is a equally giant uh, temple. Uh, on one side of the temple, you see a giant woman holding the sun, uh, a visage with her one arm and a spear in the other. On the other one, you see another lady holding a crescent uh, moon scythe in her in her one in both of her hands, and uh, wearing a, a beautiful a beautiful dress of her own. Um, and again, the the light sky uh, splitting both sides between left and right in, in light and in shadow. Um, but you all went towards the right side of this, uh, this moment, and you will now all enter, uh, one side of the tribe. Um, so I would ev like to welcome everyone into, uh, to chapter three, the sister tribes. Um, let us begin.
Okay. You can place your characters right over here. All right. Um, I need to Hi. update everybody's models, it seems. This is very annoying. Um, ah. Cox still Wait. has the plague. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Too bad. Give me a moment. I am cursed to... to be with afflictions everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually even tried to... Um, Edit your token properties. I love this area. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. everything in the darkness I love. <laughs> All right. Um, give me a moment to update their um, icons. Sabine, it's our dark knight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's... <laughs> it, uh, so it is indeed a bit more shadowy covered uh, side uh, over here, but the moonlight does give yeah. enough rays for everybody to see as normal. It is just a grayed. bit more, uh, yeah, it's just a bit more, not really grayed out, but more uh, silvery pale. The environment is illuminated by uh, just pale moonlight. Um, and you enter. You know, at least the, the you go towards the entrance of a um, of a village. Um, I've opted to put less um, uh, NPC uh, tokens and whatnot for the sake of um, using more of like the mind's eye. Otherwise, it's a lot to keep track of, as I then also have to uh, cross-reference with the second group continuously. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to keep it uh, clear of NPCs, <laughs> except for certain core NPCs. Um, and uh, as you approach this uh, this city, you can actually see uh, hear um, cheerful voices. You hear people talk with each other. It is um, I did it, do it is a pretty cozy environment. <laughs> And um, before you can continue, though, there are a few, what would you would say, guards who are sitting uh, in front of you next to each other. One stands up and is like, uh, oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> Yo, brothers, there are newcomers in town. And they they are approaching you, but not in a... In a... Um, in an offensive manner. The spears that they're holding and the shields are um, basically in rest. They are still in their hands, but they approach you casually. I guess um, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. What was your comment? I cast Scorching Ray. <laughs> you cast Scorching Ray. A spear goes through your through your neck. Okay, so um, as we... Um, <laughs> as they continue, they approach... Hmm. You can also see that most of these guards are all, uh, yeah. are mostly human. You do see one of them being uh, a dragonborn, uh, and another one of them is actually a thiefling. Oh, we like thieflings. A bit not unlike you, Sabine. Uh, they also have wings on their back. Oof, cursed. Um, uh, uh, but th their wings are instead uh, a bit more uh, dark purplish color rather than red as yours. Mm -hmm. um, um, they all approach you, and uh, the the other thiefling is, you know, looking more <laughs> towards so Sabine, a bit more in awe uh, than anything else. But uh, the, uh, the the other. Uh, uh, the dragonborn one stands in front of the other ones, clearly having a bit more uh, authority, probably. And it's like, <clears throat> welcome into the Luna tribe. It's obvious that you are new in this environment. Um, forgive us, we haven't had visitors in a long while. Um, oh, let us start with an obvious question, friend or foe. Hopefully, friend. I would assume so as well. I see no reason to be oh, hostile. Neither do we. We always praise those who uh, 
we always try to, to see the good in people before we go towards uh, before we go towards uh, immediately thinking the worst of them all. Um, it is the way of the moon. Funny. Can I greet the other thiefling in Abyssal? No, sorry, in Infernal. Uh, sure. You can, uh, you can do that. I, I introduce myself and say we are travelers and that we would like to know some about this place. Okay. I just assume that thieflings know Infernal. Okay. At least if they're uh, level five, they should. <laughs> he 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 responds to you. Uh, okay, he okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do not do this yes. to me, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, he said, "Oh, for sure, we'll tell you all you want to know. Uh, the best way to learn is to go and meet Nelana. Uh, sorry, not Nelana. They meet uh, Onatria." Onatria, you say. Who is Onatria? And where can oh, we find her? She she is our moon priestess. Mo Onatria is her full name. Okay. I will type it for you. Please do. And does this person have a location they are commonly residing at? Mm. Of course, she is currently residing in the House of Moon. She did her rounds uh, just a bit ago. It's why we're all a bit festive. The moonlight is uh, fully uh, in full power today, and we're all feeling positive energies. <laughs> That's great. Is there a special occasion to be festive about? Well, I would say it's been a while since we've had some uh, <clears throat> exchange of words with our uh, sister tribe over there, as he points towards the light side of the uh, of the valley, um, and. We suppose it's uh, a good way to uh, be a bit more festive over it. Um, but before we do anything, um, you have to understand that, as we always try to know the best uh, in everybody, we would kindly ask you to always be escorted when going somewhere, um, at least until we have uh, the go from uh, Onatria. I, I give him a smirk and ask him if if he even has someone that can keep track of me. <laughs> Don't you worry, he says. <laughs> there are ways. The moon always lights up all darkness. Fine. Fine. Sounds reasonable. We will... I will at least agree to those things. Um, Alright, then the Dragonborn uh, guard motions the other ones towards the side and uh, Bell uh, asks you to follow him and as you go I to... convey to the others because they do not hear any of this because it's infernal unless they yeah, heard it um, <laughs> we are going in they are going to have someone babysit us um, and we should talk to Mo Onataria who is at the the sun uh, the, sorry the <laughs> oh, you do hear it. All right. What a priest you are, Charlie. Um, <laughs> at the Don't moon shrine. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, just so you know, her name is Onatria, but the Mo stands for uh, her stature as a moon priestess. All right. Yeah, I do not know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the guy uh, who talked uh, he to he told explained me. Of it. course he did. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, so in front of you, the uh, dragonborn is escorting you, and behind you, the uh, thiefling is uh, following you. Um, and there are multiple points of interest in this in this little village. On the left, you as you walk through the center of it all, people also looking towards you uh, in in uh, in awe and in curiosity. You see some children come closer to you all, uh, and just wow, look at that! She has wings! She has wings! You, you see some of them uh, shouting. Um, uh, some of them are like beckoning Flora to to come play. Uh, uh, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so one of the mothers was like, "Now, now, that's not nice. Let them first mean the priestess. Then maybe you can ask to play with them." 
Um, and she, she drags away the other children. They're like, aww. And you see uh, multiple um, uh, multiple points of interest, like I said. You see a market on the left side, which we will call the Moon Market, which has various curios to be sold. On In front of you, you will see a place that goes... Uh, directly towards the other side of the, the valley, the light side, which we will call the way to the sun. On the left top side, you will see the house of, the, of Moon, which is basically a, a very big hut um, adorned with different um, uh, soothing uh, uh, trinkets, like uh, what was the name again of those little things that uh, wind chimes and uh, forms of moons, some full moons, some crescent moons. Um, on your right side, you will see uh, what what we will call the sunset cliffs, which is outside of the uh, of the village. And on the bottom side, you will see an open space full of pale rays that just touch the ground. You see many people stand in these rays and meditate uh, within them. Um, as you walk towards the House of Moon, do any of you want to do or ask anything to the guards? Or will you stay silent? Charles will stay silent. Alright. Is there a reason for them meditating in those lights? Who do you ask? The guards. Which of the two? Whoever cares to answer. <laughs> okay, sure. The thiefling uh, perks up and is like, Oh, yes, you see, this moonlight is created uh, by a powerful spell that is currently uh, being kept up uh, from within from within the Temple of Two. Um, the Temple of Two, as he motions, mentions towards the giant temple on the side, um, that is also... You know, right in the middle of the, the split between the, in the valleys um, between the splitting of the shadow and the light um, and this moonlight has many properties it allows one to clear their mind and uh, find inner peace it is a way to open truth to one's secrets at least that's what they say but it's mostly a way of recreation they say that some people can even uh, <clears throat> um, see some more intimate dreams if they want to. And then the <laughs> other guard turns around and looks at him. <clears throat> uh, sorry, boss. And he just you know, looks downwards. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Great. Nice It's almost nice. like brainwashing. Nice <laughs> do you say that or do you think that? No, no I just mumble yeah. that under my breath. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anybody else want to ask or do something? Asuka? Or uh, I'm eyeing the people that are praying, and I, I and I lift an eyebrow and I look over to uh, Skucks and I'm like, get a load of these guys, and I, I roll my eyes. <laughs> That's it. I'm right. mocking them. All right. So oh. you all arrive at the house of the moon. Then uh, you can place your characters over there. Uh, the guards in front of the House of the Moon are a bit more on serious side. Rather than having normal leather gear and a spear and a shield, the, these ones both actually have a moon scythe in their hand on one. A shield as bright as the moon on the other. They stand in a bit more of a, um, of a straight pose and both of their scythe are crossing and blocking off the entrance of the, of the door. Um, the Dragonborn Guard goes in front and actually goes towards with his hand towards these strange wind chimes at the house and uh, uh, motion, uh, goes with his, uh, along his, with his fingers and then uh, takes a, uh, uh, bends the knee and bows a little bit and uh, just waits. Um, he turns around and looks at you all. It is courtesy to always bow before a priestess who uh, arrives. It is a requested uh, way of respect. Although not of obligation, it could earn you more favor. 
Do I recognize her as a thiefling or is she wearing anything special? What race is she? Uh, she hasn't come outside yet. Oh. This is so just a response to, to what he's saying. So not bowing, you... Uh, you should normally bend the knee and just then, you know, bow a little bit towards the ground, but it doesn't have to be uh, continuous. Is before she shows up or when she shows up? Before she shows up. Like, as in, when she shows up, you can then just stand up again, he says. Oh, I will do it. Yeah, I guess I'll do it as well. Chuck, Sabine does it, Peter. If they are doing it, might as well join. Charles. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, and Asuka. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Jamie Lopez. Uh, and let's see. Um, all right. As the chimes stop doing their their sounds, you also see the tiefling behind you uh, bow as well. Um, Flora is a bit confused, and she just shrugs her shoulders, and rather than bending the knee, she just like bends forward in an L fashion. Um, uh, uh, and the the door opens, and both the guards. Uh, uh, pull their their scythes uh, outwards um, in front of you, and then you are met with a, a very regal and at least, although it is in um, it is uh, up to personal um, uh, to personal opinion, you see a very uh, very tall woman, about uh, a meter eighty. One meter and eighty centimeters, uh, clothed in in uh, more darker colors. She is draped uh, from the shoulder in a sort of like a brownish cape, with a uh, bluish skirt. Um, and below, you can see that she's wearing um, actually an armor piece um, <gasps> that is so hidden below these uh, these cloth um, cloth clothes. Um, same as with her her hands, who are also covered in a sort of like um, a blue to dark blue uh, gloves. Um, her hands are glowing bright at, at a continuous uh, continuously. She is adorned with a very regal hat that expands outwards, almost like uh, not, um, I wouldn't say like antlers, but more like uh, to an outwards aspect, uh, adorned with. Um, little blue pearls, uh, little white pearls as well um, on her head. Her hair, pale white from one side, uh, dropping down. Big uh, earrings that drop uh, also in like a diamond shape that go downwards. And you are met with the visage of uh, Mo Onatria, or her normal name Onatria, the Moon Priestess. Nice. Are those horns? It's a hat. She horny. It's a hat, okay. which sort of like has antler aspects, but it's a hat. <clears throat> Can I recognize the glow around her hands? Hmm. Um. What was your question? If I can recognize the glow around her hands, is it some kind of spell or something like that? It's a constant um, energy that is around her arms. It's almost like a blessing. Interesting. She goes down the few steps that are in front of the, of the House of the Moon, and she, in a very soft voice, Oh, General. What a surprise. You've brought newcomers. Please stand up. Thank you for respecting the courtesy. It is no longer required for you to bow anymore. Okay. Tell me, what is your reasoning for visiting this village? Do you seek safety? Should we uh, tell her? Or hint? Can we just, by accident, get into this place? It's not no, like we looked no. for this, right? Or I feel like if, I feel like if we inform her at least that we are looking for something, then we may get help. Question mark. Yeah, but what are we looking for? 
Lucky Stone, but we don't need to inform her about that. Um, okay, we are looking for an artifact or something like that. Or just simply for something. We could ask about the curious situation here with the sun and the moon. It's not that natural. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Well, she currently first asked you a question. Alright, alright. Um, um, we are wanderers. Uh, the forest it kind of has its way. It makes you appear somewhere, and you often don't really have a choice. There was a lady in my face. So. As a Sabine, I would like for you to roll me deception with a disadvantage and a minus four on top of it. It's not really deception. Well, you're not saying the complete truth. Well, we are wanderers, kind of. Okay. Uh, disadvantage. That's a natural one. It's minus see... four. <laughs> I don't know if that's really deception, but okay. Um, Let's see, you're trying to find an all-powerful artifact to be able to make a wish in the forest, and you opted to say that you were lost in the forest. You're no, still... no, no, I didn't say we're lost. I said a forest takes you where the forest wants to. And we ended up here. Okay. Sabine's defense, like, he wasn't saying any falsehoods. The only thing uh, let is, me look, let me look up something. we are we're not throwing in her face that we are looking for a potential stone that they have. All I, it's, it, I don't they, know if it's deception. If anything, it's if anything, it's giving information without giving too much information as to why we to how we came by area. Like, yeah, the forest took us there. That, so that's not a deception. Yes, he hasn't gone so far as to mention that we are looking for something yet. Let's see. Uh, I'll follow up. So basically, what... for example, if you were a wandering monk who was actually looking for something specifically like an artifact or maybe a lost, uh, lost friend, you could answer and be somewhere and they would say, I am not but a wandering monk. Uh -huh. So that statement might be literal truth, but you'd still call for a potential bluff check because your goal is to uh, still withhold information uh, so that you know what not be seen as a threat. Hmm. It is still a form of deception withholding information. This one um, but this time I then I won't do you with uh, deception with a disadvantage. Okay. So you can do it with advantage. Um, considering you're not actually lying then, uh, but withholding information, um, right, no minus four then, we'll keep it at a 12. And I need to roll my d20 plus, okay, I rolled a 12, um, so... How will I narrate that? Yeah. Um, you see her uh, looking towards you, Sabine. Um, you see her her neutral look go down a little bit, almost like a little bit of disappointment, but I see. Well, it is fine if you wish to keep your, your actual reasons, um, but I do not feel anything threatening from you. Any other reasons as to why you've approached this specific village? There is one on the other side as well. In all what honesty, prompted you it was to... a, in all honesty, it was a coin flip, and someone wanted to go to the dark area. I, I enjoy the darkness. Honestly, so darkness. the darkness can indeed be a soothing place. The smoothness of the pale moonlight <laughs> reflecting those which are always seen, and then we have, of course, the darkness to the side, keeping us safe. She looks towards Charles. And you. You seem... 
<laughs> I sense something from you. Evil. She waves her hand in front of you, Charles. Her her bright hands flicker in front of you. There is a hold over you. Very strange. Yet you have your full consciousness around you. This is very peculiar. Do you perhaps have a pact? Oh, yeah. She's implying if you're a warlock. And if you imply that I made a pact with some kind of demon, no, I didn't. Huh. Very well. I won't pry anymore. I, she am, looks a, I am but a priest of... Kalimbor. Kalimbor. <clears throat> Learn your deities, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Um, she then looks towards Peter. And you, child, what is your reasoning? Well, my only reason is that I'm looking for someone. Hmm. I see. Well, if there is anything we can provide yeah. you for help to find that person, we would, we would, we would generously want to do that. She looks towards Asuka. And you? Oh my, I haven't seen a halfling in a long while. You're very rare in these parts. Do I get a reward? <laughs> An opportunistic as well. You remind me of my sister. She is no longer very interested in you. She looks away. She looks towards... <laughs> wow. uh, towards Skucks. And what about you? You have a... She frowns a little bit, and uh, her eyes glow a little bit in the dark. You have a strange, unwelcoming energy around you, yet you are keeping grasp of it. I have not seen one of your professions since I was a child. There's not many of us. I suppose not. Your way of handling the souls of those long past is not one that I share, at least. But keep your fingers off my people and you will be safe in your own way. She then finally looks towards Flora. And who might you be? Uh, Flora opens her mouth and points with her finger in it, and then does an X motion with her hands. I explained to her that Flora is indeed mute, and if she has any questions, then I will answer for her. I see. Well, is there another way of communicating with her, maybe? There, There is indeed a way. Um, she is adept to sign language. Sign language. Uh, wait. Hmm, I've heard the term before, but, hmm, oh yes, yes, we used that before, before we were blessed by the goddesses, it, here when one of us is mute, we teach them in the way of mental, uh, of um, mental aptitude, Telepathy. meaning, uh, not specifically telepathy, but more like to connect two minds together and speak in the mental plane. Like so. Mm -hmm. And then she points her finger, boop, just that uh, on, um, on, uh, on Flora's, uh, on Flora's forehead. You see a small crescent moon pop on her forehead and then it disappears. And you see Onatria tilts her head a little bit, and Flora goes like, <gasps> like she almost gasps if she could, um, and then she she tries to sign uh, towards her, um, but halfway through the signing she she stops and looks at Onatria again, who again nods her head, and uh, it's almost. Like 10 seconds of silence. And she looks, I see. Well then, 
Thank you for being so honest with me, Flora. She looks towards the halfling and she's like, Miss Asuka, Mr. Charles, Miss Sabine, Mr. Peter, and Mr. Skux. Uh, indicating that Flora told your names to her. Mm. And I welcome you all to the Luna tribe. Um, if there is anything you would wish to do, feel free to enjoy whether it is festivities talking with people maybe buy something at the moon market they are still in the wish woods right is that a question or... to me or are you asking it to her no no like to you isaac like to our, our or ask her it it, it will make more sense okay, like I guess. Uh, like i i, I... Go up to the priestess and I'm confused. But are we still in the wishing woods? Or she takes a deep breath and then exhales like <sighs> Yes, although it might look like we are not, we are still trapped in this damned forest. But then huh? with all due respect, but what are you celebrating? Shouldn't you... Wouldn't you might, want to get out? Might I tell you that, indeed, it is known that this forest comes closer and closer and closer until villages are swallowed whole. That information is apparent for us. N note that we have been here for nine generations in these woods. And in these nine generations, these woods have not touched us at all. They have not taken a single square of land from us. And so the reason, you have... Yeah, sorry. And the reason for that, she points towards the... towards the sky, is a barrier that is erected. The barrier have itself you... was... Mm. So, sorry, continue no, with no, your no. questioning. Have you ever thought of experimenting with this barrier maybe you could find a way out or oh uh, we indeed do but those are secrets that i cannot share with you yet until we know some more honestly we are trying to keep our people as happy as possible while still finding a way out and at the same time not allowing this forest to take more of us um she points, she looks towards the uh, the Temple of Two, which is the giant temple behind the two villages. It is there that, uh, that we research ways to get out, at least. Priests from both the Sun and the Moon tribe are trying to... to release this place from our curse. But lately it has been difficult there is a lot of unrest and even though nine generations have uh -huh. passed in this forest with our tribe i mean tribes tensions can rise up from time to time uh, mostly from the side of the sun we at the side of the moon try to be a bit more a bit less eccentric on stuff. Slow and steady wins the race, after all. Does that answer yeah, your question? That, that makes sense. Um, although I guess I would be of different urgency. Mm -hmm. Exactly why I told you that you remind me of my sister. Maybe I should... Have a talk, oh, a chat with your sister then okay, instead. Just, uh... I will not stop you, but I will tell you that she is <laughs> quite zealous in her ways. Jealous? If you wish, zealous. Oh, okay. Um, she will motion towards the uh, the gate for the way to the sun. If you wish to talk with her, you should just go towards the uh, plane of the sun. No one will stop you. At least, 
on our side. No one will stop you. That makes sense. Well, thank you for the information. Hmm. So what happened? Now, before you... I leave you, because I have some uh, matters to attend to, um, as she says, matters, one of her... You see a single handmaiden uh, come outside of the house. Um, she goes closer to Onatria and whispers something in her ear. As I said, it would have happened sooner or later. I need to take my leave. Uh, please, if before I leave, might I kindly ask for you all? There are many people here who sometimes need some help. If you would be so kind to um, support them in their endeavors. And like I said, in return, you will help for whatever reasons uh, you are here for. I would like to ask her, how does one identify people in need? Or are we simply to go to every person and ask if they need help? If you wish to have more information, please talk to one of the guards. Um, these two will be of help to you. Um, I'm pretty sure in a village like the, in tribes like these, news travels fast through mouth. That's fair. Um, so, uh, uh. Isaac is plotting. Isaac is doing something because a certain someone put some stuff in it that need, that warrants diff, uh, changes. Um, I didn't do anything. Not you. Oh, then me. it's Charlie. It's no. probably me. Oh, not even. What? Uh... <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Peter. Anyway. Wow, it's the Peter. You usually are a good player. You don't misbehave. <laughs> 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 I have been very uh, behaving lately. You could have at Maybe. least told us you're being haunted. <laughs> I mean, you never asked. Why would we ask? Well, you, you, ne none of you ever like put me up to the point after what you saw in the burned down village. So... I was behind. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it'll take some time to get through this. Uh, we'll have to see, okay, how it goes. Um, All right, before she leaves, she looks towards the, the guards. <clears throat> Please, if they have any questions, uh, assist them to the best of your abilities. I hope to see you all again. Until next time. And she she makes a bow on her own, turns around with her um, uh, with her ma uh, handmaiden in tow, and she enters the uh, house and uh, leaves. What would you people like to do? Well, that certainly happened. Um, I would talk to Flora, talk in quotation marks, and ask her what happened. <laughs> She responds to you, oh, wow, that was very exciting, she says. I heard her talk without her moving her mouth. And then when I was thinking, she knew what I was saying. Do you still have this connection? Um, I don't think so. Can I roll a Karna if I can sense it? Sure. You don't sense any connection anymore. Okay, good. Otherwise, she's spying on us. Um, yeah, like, don't you have to do like a wisdom saving throw if someone does? Uh, 
us that. Flora was so excited to find out a way to talk without sign language that she didn't at all resist. Okay, I would like to explain to Flora that she doesn't have to share all informations to people that we don't know fully yet. Uh, she, she signs. Okay. Okay. No, that's, Isaac. that's all I wanted. Isaac. Do we have Take the cock out of your mouth, Isaac. <laughs> Stop oh. eating your cat. Isaac. My, yes. No, it can't be my cat. Um, do we have to teach Flora, um, what is that in Harry Potter? Where he learns to push out Voldemort? Uh, no, Oculus. where he learns... Occlumency, Ocul yeah. Yeah, where he learns to push out Voldemort. We have to teach that to Flora to get the moon, <laughs> the moon priestess out. Wait, did you just uh, compare Moonatria to Voldemort? Yeah, well, exactly. Wow. <laughs> all that we know, she can. <laughs> in my books, you have a nose? in my books, the yes. moons represents the darkness and secrecy and shit, and the sun represents the good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't sure. think it's gonna be this simple. Sure. Uh, Asuga, Asuga, imagine, imagine yeah. living day in, day out under a scorching sun. Do you think you'll be sane after a while? The desert. No, I mean, I'm not saying that the moon is bad, because, you know, my character would prefer the darkness for the stealing moon, and shit. <laughs> um, but it's what I'm saying, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, right. I know what you're saying, but... It's moon cats versus sun cats. Oh, th th then we win. Then we are the right position. Yeah, uh, moon like, cats for sure. Mm. Moon cats are better. <laughs> In any case, to continue, uh, the two guards, the dragonborn and the... Um... Fusruta. And uh, the dragonborn and the uh, and the thiefling with wings um, approach you and... <clears throat> well... If Monatria says that you are to be trusted and to be helped, then we will, of course, uh, believe her words. Um, the uh, the dragon uh, guard, the dragonborn guard, bows himself and says, "My name is Gio. If you have any questions, I will help you to the best of my abilities." And then the other one, the uh, the other guard, the thiefling, says, "My name is Sharon. So if anybody has any questions as well, I will also help you to the best of my abilities." Gio <laughs> with an X. Oh, okay. No G. <laughs> What's that new fucking... Uh... No, never mind. <laughs> I want to was... make a JoJo reference, but I didn't. <laughs> no, I was thinking of that... Uh... What's that new fucking... Um... Oh, that, that new meme that everybody's fucking posting about that... Um... There are a lot of new fashion... memes. No, that fashion thing. Um... Fuck! What's it called? Balenciaga! <laughs> never mind, never mind. Hmm. I'm already looking it up. Balenciaga? You'd never see that shit? Wait, I'll yes, link you, you something, yeah, Isaac. Something. Or I'll just, I'll just link it in here, or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I wanna see it. <laughs> Let's see if it's uh, Balenciaga. What the fuck is that? You've never heard of that? It's apparently a fairly new Show me your character. Ready? Go! Show me your moves and show me your Gucci and Wait, can... That a Hiram guy should be He-Man. I, I cannot like, have this on Twitch, right? they actually do that? Right? Or is that just uh, made from a... Um, I have from, no clue. From a but computer... it's just like... I mean, it's computer generated, obviously. No, I'm but it, it. but, it, but it's, it's like uh, like all kinds of... Pop culture references, like there's been Star Wars, uh, there's been uh, Marvel, and they'll put it into this, like, yeah, <laughs> this fashion thing. My god, okay, yeah. I got gotcha. you. It's like AI or something, I think. <clears throat> okay, so, um, are you going to ask the guards anything, or will you be on your way and choose where you want to go? Would you guys be able to point us out in the right direction for anybody that needs tell well no. um shio looks towards shira and is like well there have been some people at the outskirts of the uh, pale rays of recreation that have been having issues during their meditations 
they rather than seeing positive dreams they've been seeing negative ones and that is highly unusual mostly these things happen to those who are rejected by the moon but those who are having these dreams did nothing wrong so it is a bit strange and weird in a sense do i look like a dream watcher to you well you asked and i answered the other, uh, the other guard, Shion, Shio, not Shio, looks towards you all and is like, <clears throat> some merchants from the moon market need some uh, supplies, which can be gathered from the sunset cliffs. Uh, I don't know the exact specifics, but you can ask around there. Um, let me take a look. All right. There is also, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we're, didn't we get a, a specific notification that there is a uh, uh, there has been some trouble between the uh, uh, between the barrier of the way of the sun and the way of to the moon. Um, uh, a certain person has been doing some. How, how would I say it? He's been fighting the guards for a long while now, trying to get through when he is not allowed. At least that's what I've heard. I'm always at the entrance of the village downway, so I don't know the specifics. Could be Warren. Could be interesting to take a look. If you can manage to solve the problem, you will be rewarded. Currently, you can then add, just for reference's sake, you can add... Um, uh, Unpale Dreams, which is uh, the quest for at the Pale Rays of Recreation. Uh, supplies for the Moon, uh, which need to go to the Moon Market. And um, uh, the last quest is called Romeo or Romeo. <laughs> but you need to go to the Way of the Sun. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I see where this is going. Of course, you can always take a look around and see what is uh, apparent in this uh, in this tribe. Um, if you can manage to gain access towards the Sun tribe, there might be some uh, stuff that you can do over there. And of course, if you want to openly go towards the Sunset Cliffs, no one will stop you. Just try to be safe. Right. Very well. Um, at that point, both Shio and Shiron are going to back, go back to their posts at the start of the village over here. Um, I would kindly ask everybody to place their characters uh, where they're supposed to, to be and where they want their characters to be. Uh, try to be like a groups of three, please, so it doesn't split up too much, or at least uh, groups of two at a max. Flora not counting. Um, uh... Well, we, well, should, should, should we split up for this, guys? Ooh, Question mark. Split up and look for hmm. clues. <laughs> uh, more like, I, I don't want it to be like uh, five different scenes that I have to do. If you get to my drift, if everybody goes to five different positions, the other four need to like wait their turn, and that's a bit iffy. I so... don't have a choice, Edge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if you want to go solo for one thing, I guess that's fine, but try to group in a way, just to keep it. But, um, 